ready? Yep, ready. Here comes four G's. Right up over the top. And as we come down through the bottom here, the G's are going to come back on. Bring our power back, bring it back up towards four G's. Nose is going to dip, then it's going to stabilize, and now here we are fully established in the spin. Okay? And it's just going to stay here until we do something about it. Okay? We're going to pull that power idle, neutral up the ailerons, go full opposite rudder, a little bit forward with the stick to catch, angle of attack reduction, and then pull out of that dive. Hey, Robbie, how do you feel? Excited and nervous. <laughs> are you going to throw up? Most likely. Let's hope not. I've done some preparations. Probably not going to help me at all. <laughs> Did you eat some banana and beef jerky this morning? Bananas, yes, no beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> Just blue Gatorade so that it's the same color as the blue barf bag. <laughs> there you go. That way it'll camouflage. Yeah. All right. Hey everybody, Robbie, got Joe, our chief fixed wing instructor in the back. Joe's gonna take us out and uh, do some aerobatics and some spin training with me. We're gonna head out. I have never been uh, at the controls of, a, uh, of an airplane before other than one time, and it was just some straight and level, really simple stuff. So hopefully I don't get too terribly sick today. Should be really fun. We're going to see what it's like for a helicopter pilot that does aerobatics to then go into an airplane for the first time to do aerobatics, kind of see the differences. I expect this is going to be a lot more intense than it is in a helicopter. What we're do you think, Joe? I think we're going to have a good time. You'll enjoy right. it. Sweet. Well, what do you say we get this thing airborne? Let's do it. Holy Alright, so we're going to get a little bit of speed here, and then we're going to go ahead and lift up our tail. It's going to feel like this. Then we're going to build a little bit more speed until we're ready to fly. Alright, you ready to go? Let's do it. Alright, here we go. Holy crap. Woo! Your traffic, I'll got the 7 Lima November <laughs> left base Alpha Theater. Welcome to this top rear. Wow, that's awesome. Cedar Traffic, T-Bird 1-9 is in the WECO practice area, about 10,500. We're going to be maneuvering in the area. We're at the sense. Look out below, T-Bird. Ready? Yep, ready. Here comes 4 Gs. Oh. Oh. Right up over the top. And as we come down through the bottom here, the Gs are going to come back on. Bring our power back, bring it back up towards 4 Gs and the level. How are you doing with that? Wow, that was great. <laughs> wow. We went just a little bit light for you on that first round. We only did about three, three and a half or wow. so. Wow. There's a G meter on your upper right hand yeah, side so yeah. you can verify where we're at there. <laughs> that was great. And it's about good there. Here comes some Gs. Pull it up into the vertical and holding right there at the vertical until we run out of energy. And then we're going to bring it up over the top. <laughs> Pull out of the stall. And we're recovered. Wow. <laughs> and here comes 4Gs. Power up to full. Holding the vertical. And coming left. There's a little bit more of a slice. And pull up into it. Nice. <laughs> and four G's. Coming up over the top. Do the invert. Where we're going to hold that engine die. And then we're going to roll back. Oh, man. This is amazing. 
All right, build that energy a little bit more than 140, and here we go. Up over the top, coming into full power. There's the inverts, and hold it. Engine dies, negative one. <laughs> and engine restart. <laughs> oh, wow. How are you doing with that? Great. All right, awesome. All right, speed checks. Here comes some Gs. Power coming in. Over the top. And three quarters to hold. Roll. Roll. Power. Roll. Power. Roll. 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 where a couple of those G's are going to come on towards the end as we fall out the bottom. That's what your barrel roll is going to look like. Nice. And we're going to go ahead and go to the left. You ready? I'm ready. All right, rolling left. Woo! That's what our aileron roll is going to look like. So we're going to go ahead and go to the left. Everything's clear down below. Coming left. But your split S is going to yeah. work Yeah. Well. All right, doing okay with those? Yep, doing good. Awesome. We're going to pull up towards getting into a stall. As our speed starts bleeding off here, we're going to add some left rudder, right aileron to get cross control. So when it breaks, we're going to go over to the left. Nose is going to dip, then it's going to stabilize. And now here we are fully established in the spin. Okay. And it's just going to stay here until we do something about it. Okay. We're going to pull that power idle, neutral up the ailerons, go full opposite rudder, a little bit forward with the stick to catch the angle of attack reduction, and then pull out of that dive. How you doing with that one? Wow. Yeah, I felt that one a little more than the other ones. Okay. <laughs> Not bad, though. Still doing good. Okay, good. All right, here we go to the left. Getting ourselves stabilized in this deep turn here. Ready for the spin? All right, ready. Here it goes. And fully established in that spin. You notice the spins are the same profile than it did before. It doesn't really matter how you enter. It's always going to spin the same. Okay. If I try to go ahead and use the ailerons to help me out here, you'll notice that interior aileron just tightens the spin, while exterior aileron it's going to flatten it a little bit, but won't really help me recover. No matter what I'm doing with yeah. these ailerons, all I can do is make it worse. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So instead, we need to put proper spin recovery uh, technique in here with neutral, opposite, and a little bit forward. Catch that climb out and get back into our climb. How you doing with that one? Good. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so you see, we're a little bit lower now than when we started. Absolutely. It didn't Holy take cow. us very long to get here. Wow. <laughs> Maintaining orientation is going to be difficult during that process. Yeah, for sure. That's crazy. All right, building some speed. Here comes some G's up over the top. And power coming in. Coming through the vertical. Over through the invert. Stopping at our 45. Flowing around. Build that energy back up to 140. Other side of the Cuban A. Power coming in through the vertical and stopping at the end. Building up energy. Fire moment. Power full. Here comes the invert. Stop. Roll into the stall. And cross control into the spin. All right, fully established into the spin. Power coming back. Aileron's opposite. A little bit of forward. Build that energy. And into a hammerhead. Power full into the vertical. And running out of juice. Go ahead and bring it over the top. We'll complete the loop. Oh, wow. All right. 
so cool. How you doing with that? Oh, great. So good. <laughs> all right, we'll go ahead and go into our slips. We'll pull our power all the way out. But as you can see, that doesn't help our descent very much. Right. We're not going to make that runway very easy. So, we're going to add some rudder. As we get ourselves in this cross control configuration, we're going to be able to get rid of a lot more energy a lot quicker. Now, while we're up this high, it doesn't feel too aggressive at first. Once we get a little bit lower and start getting a little bit of ground wash, we'll rise that descent rate is typically pretty aggressive. Wow. All right, there's your standard approach profile. All yours. Okay. Go ahead and try to land it for us. Your okay. Controls. My controls. Your controls. See your traffic keyboard four, turning right, um, cross runway way two zero. So we'll You're going to need to pull that power out so that we start okay. coming down. Okay, right, there we go. There it is. Center five left down one alpha, Cedar. Drive to Route 10, three miles north of Enix VOR, inbound VOR 20. Now watch the turning tendency. <laughs> as soon as that tail moves, oh. here's where you're going to lose control of the aircraft. Okay? Oh, jeez. Holy cow. All right, nice. <laughs> Not bad, man. Not bad. So what happened there? <laughs> so you didn't account for gyroscopic <laughs> action. Okay. Wow, that was uh, that was absolutely phenomenal. Well, my friend, you did an excellent job. Pleasure having you out this morning. Thanks, Joe. Really appreciate you taking me up.